Okay, here we go. Did you see the new estimated prices for the um, 5000 series GPUs? I did not. I don't even want to know. It's going to be like, what, $5,000 or something? The 40, uh, 5090 is estimated to be around 4000 Canadian dollars before tax. Why? Who's buying that? The 5080 is estimated to be around $2,000 Canadian before tax. $2,000, they're not even getting a top of the line card. What's up, last one? Keb's probably going to play some Sekiro. I'm going to just... Yeah, very crunchy. I got some carrots. Carrots and dip. And I'm done. This event is sad. Yeah, uh, Falling came in. I was talking about it. It reminds me a lot of Ender Lilies. Interesting. I, I can see that. Exclusive 10 roll permit. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go, Rainbow. Did we get the legendary one and done? Legendary one and done incoming? Let's go, let's go, legendary one and done, please. Please. Alright, I think the next one's the five star, and we have the six star after. They're back to back. Let's go! Okay, okay. Alright. All right, we just need Asalon. We just need Asalon. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Yeah.
GG's one and done. Oh, oh, there's a new four star. Really? Whatever. I mean, I know the four star will show up eventually. I'm not super worried about it. All right, done. So how is Athlon, um, Venus? Sweep Oi. 2d32 and 6 of the Akaton. 2d32. Nice. Thank you, Nian. Supposed to be very good. Yeah, I heard good things about Asalon. Attacks inflict the following effects on enemies. Movement speed reduced by 18% and take 11% of Asalon's current attack as arts damage per second. That seems pretty good. Stacking up to three times? What? That seems really good. She has good range. Ambusher, so she's low ground. Attack range expands, attack interval is slightly shortened and reduces physical and hearts. And she reduces hit rate by 10%. By 30%. More likely to be attacked by enemies and recovers 5% max HP when enemies attacks miss or upon a successful dodge does she have a dodge innate 50 percent chance to dodge what the fuck that seems really good and inflict one stack of talent one effect on nearby enemies when they are defeated interesting It's like Mizuki where S3 is kind of shit, but the other skills are good. You think S3 is bad? S2, S1, S3. I might just make S1 for the event. Just so I can just drop her down and forget.
Can she store extra charges? Does it reduce the SP on S1 to 7? I'm assuming it drops it to 7. Okay, let's see these masteries. Okay, so at S2, it drops it to 7. And S3 brings it up to 210%. I might just put it to S2, honestly. S wow, that's a huge movement speed debuff on S2. Contrary to the word wording, the movement speed reduction affects aerial enemies as well, but the talent effect only applies to ground enemies. What the fuck? Okay. Interesting. I'll get that S1 M2 for the SP reduction. I have too much of a headache. I'm not going to read story. The event stage layout is depressing in what way? Okay. 